So hello, we have reached another exercise on star pattern. So we need to read uh, an integer x and then we print this uh, lines of star on the screen. So let's see uh, more this example uh, on a bigger scale. So let's say we enter 10 here. So we need to display 10 lines. So we know that we have an outer loop. The loop, for example, it loops from I from 1 to 10. So this is easy since we have 10 lines. So in each line, we have different stuff. We have spaces, we have stars, we have spaces, and then we have stars. So just look at this, for example, this row. We have spaces, one star, spaces, one star. And so we have uh, uh, this stuff to, to pay attention on. So first, let's say uh, 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 regarding the number of uh, spaces, so the ones that are here. So again, so we have covered this. For example, here in line 10, we have zero stars. In line 9, we have one star. In line 8, we have two, three, and so on. And here we have uh, nine. So we need to loop from uh either for example j from 0 to n minus 1 or we can loop from i uh, to n so we'll we'll, we'll do that uh, in, in two ways however then we need to loop no not to loop so we need to either display a star or display uh, a space or multiple spaces so we have a loop so what we'll do in this exercise we can you can either try to display one space and then multiple space uh, one star sorry and then multiple states and then one star however i will do this in one loop so in this loop i will say that so if you look well for example the 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 i here this one so when i'm displaying nine spaces and then i will this one it will be equal to ten and again, when I'm looping, this one would be equal to 10. So in some cases, not in some cases, in all the cases, whenever i would be equal to n in the loop, I will display a star. And even when I'm starting with this line, I will also display a star. And for this one, it's equal to 2i minus 1. So we will write this in a while. So we will place a for loop and in the loop we will display those stuff. So in the case where we are not in these cases, so we'll display just a space. So we will take three cases, I repeat. So we have an outer loop that will loop over the number of lines and in each line we'll have another loop that will display uh, stars and uh, spaces. So we have three types of stars. So we have this line, we have this line and we have those stars. So for uh, i equal to n, so for i equal to n, it means whenever I'm reaching this line, I will always display a star. When j is equal to n, so the, the, uh, the inner loop will loop over j. So whenever I'm looping, it means it's here. When I'm starting looping, I would display a star. And when I'm on the second diagonal, which is when j is equal to 2i minus 1, I will also display a star. So let's move to the code. So we need to read a positive integer n, so we need an n. And of course, we need two counters for the loops. So do while, printf enter n. And scan f percentage d others of n and I will do that as long as n is negative or equal to zero so then I have the outer loop so I know it will loops from i to to n so n times i plus plus so I will I will do it incrementally okay so at the end of each line I will print f a backslash n so in order that we move to a new line so this is at the end of the loop in the inner loop, I will start by displaying the uh, spaces. So we can either start from 1 to n minus i, or we can uh, start from j equal to i until n. So I will I will do that. I will do both and show you the output. And printf will display a space. So, and then just for now, I'll print up one star, just for now. And I will run the code just to tell you uh, uh, to show you that if this works and the other variation also it will work so let's enter 10 
so we'll have a diagonal so it will it will work even if i start from 1 to n minus i it will also so it will be equal here we will have the same line here hmm? so it's the same so let us adjust so we have already covered this one and n minus i in the in, in the previous exercise so it's better if you <coughs> just uh, check it uh, so check the, the, the other version so we have just here covered the star the the uh, spaces and you look well here so we have if we just put a printf we'll have the first diagonal so for here i will place also a for loop so this loop the inner loop uh, it would start from let i will write it later so in this for loop we'll try to print off both the stars and the not star so here we'll start from j equal to one so this is the, the, the it means that we are starting printing a star and some spaces and then star and to print a star it means j should be equal to one so uh, if you follow me it's 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 easy so for the for loop we need to write a row not the spaces uh, the row after the spaces so it's one star spaces and one star so we have seen that without this and if i just uh, write print f it will print the first diagonal it means that if i loop the, at the first iteration when j equal to one i will need to print a star so here we will loop to plus plus so, however till when we, we will reach this uh, loop so what is the maximum number of iterations so if you look well at the first row i just need to print a star so just one character at the second row i need to, to to print one star one space let's check it again one star one space and one star it means i need to loop three times so we, uh, and so on we find the uh, the the recurrence formula so we already done this in the previous exercise also on the star pattern so it's equal to two multiple i minus one so when i is equal to one i will loop one time when i is equal uh, to two it means row two it's four minus one i will uh, loop three times so i need to print three times so for the first time I will, uh, uh, for j equal to one i will print uh, star and of course I would uh, print star when j is equal to 2i minus 1 so now it's easy because I have the other diagonal and I have seen that those numbers so those numbers here they, they we loop from r uh, from 1 to j r uh, to j to 2i minus 1 so this one is for j equal to 1 and this one is for 2i minus 1 where i is the number of row so now we know well that if j is equal is equal equal to uh, 2i minus 1 I would also uh, print f a uh, star and also we have the last case for the for the end so at the end whenever I have i a j sorry i is equal to n it means whenever I have the row equal to 10 it means the last row I would always print f a star so otherwise of course I will print just a space it's not that easy and we will keep on the print uh, print f let's run it and see the output so we enter 10 and we have this lovely uh, pyramid so let us repeat so for the first loop it's just the number of rows so it means that for each row i will do all this so first i will print n minus i spaces so if for row one i will print nine stars for row two i will print eight stars for row ten i will print zero stars then i will move to the row from here so for row two i need to print three stuff so okay i figure out that i need to loop three, three, three times i should link it to the number of row because at row two i, I should print three at row three i should print uh, five and uh, so on so I have figured the formula and then I should check whenever I need to print the uh, stars so stars I print them on the first round of the iteration of the inner iteration and at the last round of the iteration it means when j equal to 1 and when j is equal to i minus 1 I need to print this star and we have a special uh, case for i equal to n it means whenever the uh, uh, row is equal to 10 this one so I need to print stars in all other cases in the in the middle I need to print a space so this is for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop me a message and of course i will uh, write you back and again thanks for watching